Alright guys, we're going to do a quick unboxing of my Predator 212 that I picked up from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm going to try to do this with uh, no cuts or anything like that just because I hate editing and I don't have time for it. So we'll get right into it. This is the uh, Predator 212 uh, part number 60363 which is the uh, hemispherical head uh, Predator engine. Uh, there are some that are non-hemi engines. Uh, this one is. They do have different engines that they sell uh, to meet California emissions. Obviously, I don't have to deal with this, deal with that in this instance. But uh, they do make ones that uh, are California emissions compliant. Uh, our state here in Pennsylvania doesn't have to deal with that crap. So. Uh, this is what it is. Like I said, uh, this is the 60363. Bought this at Harbor Freight. Uh, went on sale for $99. Uh, um, we're, our Harbor Freight's now, I'm sure it's everywhere. You can't use a coupon with these engines. Uh, it says right on the coupon, um, Predator Series engines. I tried. I talked to the guy. I tried to slip, slip the coupon by a couple times before I bought this, and they wouldn't let me do it. So, anyways, let's get into this. I plan on putting this on my doodle bug uh, mini bike that I trash picked um, and a Chinese torque converter from eBay. I also got and I'll do a little video on that later. But anyways, uh, we'll get right into this. Let's see what we got inside. Package decent. Got the uh, manual, got a whole bunch of uh, packing material. I mean, for $99, you really can't go wrong with this. Uh, let's see how I'm going to get this out of here. see that or not but there it is spark plug wrench plastic and that's it so here it is the uh, Predator 212 series um, has the cast valve cover designating that's the Hemi um, yeah I mean it's it's basically a Honda clone from what I read online, these things um, do require some kind of a break-in. I've seen a couple of videos where guys drain the oil and it's like um, metal flake from uh, an early 80s chopper or something like that. So, not that I'm going to be like bathing this thing or whatever, but, uh, you know, I just don't want metal floating around in there, chewing up... Uh, uh, you know, rotating assemblies. Uh, here it is, and I'll do another video when I decide to uh, modify it. I'm going to take out the governor right away, which is uh, achieved by removing this cover here, pulling this whole thing out, laying it on its side, and there's a little plastic gear inside there that's retained with like a hog ring. And you have to kind of uh, undo that hog ring and pull the whole thing out. Um, you remove the, the governor rod, the governor arm, and you can link the throttle. Um, link the throttle with the, the, the remaining goodies with some of the old springs that you're not going to use. But uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do in the next video. Um, this is pretty much it. I mean, for, for $99, it's it's tough to beat that. I mean, it's, it's just really tough to beat. I don't, I don't, I don't care what, you're, uh, what, you, what, you, what you think. I mean, a Honda is a Honda. I get that. But you're not going to find a Honda for $99 brand new. So we'll see how this goes. I can't wait uh, to put, get this whole thing on the mini bike and romp around on it uh, the spring. Take it to car shows or whatever. But I do have some uh, plans for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned and we'll uh, 
have some more fun with this thing. I'll try to do a full build series on this and we'll go from there. Thanks guys.